All right, guys, what's up? This is David, AKA Reverse Long, and today we're gonna talk about how to get better 1% every day and how that compounds, and after over the long haul, you're gonna benefit massively. And I, you know, I don't understand how people are not like on this. Everybody wants, everybody thinks so near term, like one to six months, not even one to three month thing. They give something 90 days, more or less, and if like they don't make any money, they move on to something else, and they move on to something else, and move on to, and you're like you're losing so much time. Like no, the main, the thing is one percent a day. You move the needle forward a little bit at a time, and then like over, you know it's crazy, man. Today I was going for a walk, and like just three years. I mean, three years it all came together, but there was another three years I was grinding before that. But in three years, I've managed. Like I looked at a photo of me three years ago. It's like, God damn, I'm like not even ready to share those photos yet of like my face at that time, man. It was, it was grind mode, grind mode. And um, actually yesterday or the day before, I posted a photo of me in 2020 by my computer in the same office right there, US Bank Tower, when I first moved in there during the pandemic, when it was, um, it was completely empty. The building was empty, it was a pandemic, right across the street a block that way is Pershing Square and like that's where all the riots happen all the all the political stuff man all we, you know it's like whatever you guys know what it is but um all that happened here they were blocking the door like and there were some days like I was in the office and if I left they wouldn't let me in and that's where I had like my Wi-Fi that's where I had my computer my little Microsoft Surface Pro tablet Props to that tablet, man. I made a lot of money in that tablet. I must have made like 200 grand on that tablet in 2020 uh, and 2021 in the beginning. But um, but yeah, and I was staying in Koreatown about a couple miles that way. You know, I'll take the subway back and forth. And um, but the main thing is I wanted to work. Koreatown was just like a freaking bed. That's all I had there. But like I was meant to work in the office. And like if I left the office, they wouldn't let me back in. So some days. I was in the office like three days in a row, like slumming it out, you know? I saw Elon Musk, a photo of him on Twitter. He's, he slummed it out. He's, he slept in the office on Twitter when he first moved in there, or I think in SpaceX too, you know? So like, yeah, that, that, I felt like I was doing that. So when I saw that, I think that was happening around the same time. And I was like, damn, all right, so if Elon's doing this, I'm on the right path. And um, yeah, and then I started to make money. I started to make money in that, in that office there. In, uh, in 2020 and um, and I hired a photographer I remember he came I found him on Instagram some like college student shout out to Gio I still he's actually still my photographer and I asked him hey can you come to the office and take some photos like I had some money now you know you know it's like I went from completely broke in 2020 now I had a couple hundred grand it's not bad so then I was like you know what I need to get some headshots maybe or something I was still frugal because I was still like insecure of how I, you know, because the market was so volatile. I had never seen that before, like from the years I was studying before that. But um, yeah, I hired a photographer, he came through, took a photo of me and my computer, and I has the, the Microsoft Surface Pro tablet with two screens uh, connected to it. And it's, it's well organized. It's, it's a, it's a, it was a good setup for like what I, for the amount of like, time of studying and the amount of money I had that was the perfect setup for me at that time and I wouldn't have it any other way you know because if you're given tools or you spend money on tools and you're not profitable that's not good you got to earn all the tools so like I was trading off of um, Thinkorswim which I still use now Thinkorswim uh, platform which was free I had uh, interactive brokers on the tablet in the bottom and um, that was it there was no dilution tracker you couldn't really check float it was like Wall Street Journal, Yahoo. I think Filings Pro came later. I used to check Filings Pro. And I didn't really even understand Filings. So like it was still all bogus to me. It was like, I was still kind of in the dark. Um, I'll be in the Tim Challenge webinars all the time, in the chat room there all the time. Shout out to Jack Schwarzy, man. He was in there too, grinding. And, um, and yeah, so like, now that was just three years ago, man. Almost exactly. That was May... I think when those photos were taken was exactly like June 2020 or something. And I had to like get clearance to get the photographer in there and he came with a mask. They didn't let him in with the mask and he had to go get a mask. 
and he had to, sh you know, it was, it was, that was the time, you know, those were the, the times. And the building was um, changing ownership and they were renovating it because like, so that, that building right there, US Bank Tower, tro the trophy skyscraper of LA, it went bankrupt in 2020 and it switched ownership. And then the, the owners got it at, at such a dirt cheap price that they decided to renovate it, which, you know, like, a, like an investment, you know? So it was under construction. The photographer came in, took a photo of me with that tablet and I thought, it was, I thought I had such a sick setup. I was like, man, look at this setup. It's so sick. I just, you know, and I, I have a couple hundred, I have like a, I had like a hundred something grand at that time. And I was like from trading. And I'm in the office and I, I love the office. Even though there was, the walls were bare, there were no panels on the wall. There was no podcast. Nobody knew who I was. There was, you go on Google, there was nothing on me, about me on Google. Um, maybe like one architectural portfolio thing. That was it. Nobody knew anything about me. My um, my pro profit lead profile had an avatar of the reverse flash. Uh, my Twitter had like a hundred posts. I didn't even know how to use Twitter, you know. <laughs> and I had a, the reverse flash avatar. No one knew my face. No one knew my name. No one knew anything. My Instagram had like four posts. N nothing. I was broke. I shaved my head bald. I had just like was walking the skid row every, I was still walking the skid row to take showers because like I couldn't go back and take showers. So I had some, uh, most days I would go to skid row and take showers, man, and then come back. So grinding day after day, like a full grind. And when I go to skid row, it's just like go there and go straight back to grind. And the whole time in skid row, I'm, well, in skid row, once I cross a certain street, I have to take off my headphones so I can be like uh, alert because like, you know, the place is crazy. But about halfway there, I would listen to audiobooks, I would listen to podcasts, grind mode. And I saw this, even if I didn't make any money in the market, I still was, the knowledge account, 1% a day at a time. 1%, you know, like that's what I'm like, okay, I learned something in this audiobook. Even if it's a sentence that came out of a guy's mouth, that's a takeaway. That's, that makes me better than yesterday. You know, me, um... I used, to, I used to make it a rule, knock out three webinars a day and 10 video lessons a day. Uh, if I knock that out, that's a win. That's 1% better a day. Um, if I read 10 pages of a book on top of that, another win. And that's what I used to do. I used to take the books and read them out in, like, in uh, the hotel lobbies and stuff. But in COVID, they, they shut that all down. So I didn't have anywhere to read but that, except my office, which was cool. But I would read 10 pages a day, audiobook, podcast three webinars, 10 video lessons, and I would mark them, keep track of everything. And then I, w I wake up for the pre-market. And then I put in, even though I was so tired after the pre-market and I made some money in the pre-market, I would, I would not trade the first hour, but I would watch the first hour. And I would write notes on the first hour, the patterns that I noticed. I was like, I'm not trading the first hour. I'm not ready for that yet, but I want the screen time. And you know, I don't want to get my profits back from the pre-market. So all that, man, all those good habits, just compound, 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 compound. Listening to webinars, webinars, YouTube videos. I had like a, I, I still do, I have a YouTube folder of all the educational YouTube channels that I like. I would, I, would, I would watch everybody's YouTube channel, like the monthly reviews, Jack, Kyle, all those guys, you name it. Whoever put a review out, I was watching the review. You know, it's like... So even if I wasn't making money, that knowledge account was compounding, 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 compounding. And then it's just like all those little things over so much time in just three years, three years, I got, I got a pretty good life, man. I got a pretty, I'm, I mean, I want more. I'm going for more. This is just the beginning. I'm just getting started. But like, I'm like, God damn, just three years? I was grinding, taking this dirty ass subway, walking the skid row, um, shaved my head bald. Like I looked at myself, like God, this is a, this is another person. Like I looked in the photo, uh, like the, the face, the one I posted on Twitter is like the back of my head, uh, looking at the screen, and I was I was doing pretty well there. But like, let's say like three months before that photo, I'm like God damn, that's a rough. But hey, I had the right mindset, man. And I'll tell you what. Um, I was completely sober. I didn't never drank alcohol. Like I wanted, I know, I knew what I wanted. I was like, I'm, I'm laser focused. So when I look at that guy that's grinding in that photo, 
I'm like, God damn, that, that sober guy that didn't party, didn't socialize, didn't block himself from everything and just went into grind mode in that office. Um, that guy was laser focused and knew what he wanted and went for it. You know, nothing stopped. It was on a fucking mission, on a mission. So of 1% better every day. And I knew in just a couple years if I kept at it, I, I know I bet on myself I'm going to do well. And um, yeah, so like this morning, today was a half day in the market. And, uh, you know, I, I woke up at 1 in the morning and I traded all the way to like 11 a.m. That's 11 hours um, pre-market. And, I, you know, it's, it's a slow pre-market. So I got a lot of things done outside of trading. But anyways, it was a good day. It was a very good day. You know, not like a top day. I, I made three grand today, let's say. Like a little, a little over three grand. And like that's... That's, you know, on a, on a half day. Then I, so I walked, uh, ate a late breakfast at the um, Intercontinental right there, the 70th floor. And uh, afterwards, I walked to the bank. They greet me at the bank. They say, like, hey, David, you know, they, like, I don't even show ID at the bank. <laughs> this is a boutique bank. And, um, and I walk across the street to the architecture firm I used to work at. I walk across the street to the... Um, the WeWork uh, shared space that I was studying stocks at, and I used to tutor. And I'm like, and I look at my, my office building, the tallest skyscraper in the world. I have a good setup, you know? And I live across the street, and I'm like, God damn, man, this is, this is good. Like, I've done well. I've done well for myself. I saw, I saw this coming. Oh, and I'm at the athletic club, the, the gym I always wanted to come to. I used to walk by it, and I'm like, how do you get, how do you get in there? And I, you know, and, and I'm here now. I just got out of the gym, by the way. Um, I'm at the rooftop of it. So like, um, and I'm like, damn, you know, so all this was acquired in three years. So if I keep on the 1% a day, like what is in store for me in three more years? That's crazy. If you look at the photo of me three years ago, in the same office, the same office I had with the bare walls, Microsoft Surface Pro, and the same, so the crazy part is, I didn't even realize it, but I have the same photo, same corner, same angle, same photographer took it three years later, uh, about th two, three weeks ago, he came through and took more photos, uh, up, you know, updated photos. Geo, shout out Geo, man, he's a sick photographer. And I've seen him come up, he's actually improved a lot too. He's not just an Instagram photographer now, he's doing like celebrity photography and stuff. So he improved too. But um. But yeah, he took those photos of me and I'm like, God damn. So now my office is like stacked. I got this crazy ass computer. Um, this crazy ass computer. It's like Cerebro from X-Men. If you look at Cerebro is the computer that Professor X, he puts on his head. He goes in the war room, puts it on his head and like get, sees all the mutants from all over the world and like talks to them and stuff. So he's, he's in, the, in the matrix. He's inside the computer, you know? <laughs> So that's me, that's my computer. So I went from the Microsoft Surface Pro, which is a tablet with interactive brokers, and now I got this massive computer with like six brokers, and I got everything I want for trading. I, it doesn't get better. What, my setup for trading doesn't get better than that. I, I don't think, I've, 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 uh, I've thought about it very well, and I, you know, I got everything I want for trading setup wise. And I'm like, God damn. That's three years. Now you see me, like, I look a little more pale <laughs> because uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot, you know, I'm spending a lot of times indoors these days. Um, you know what I mean? Just, just uh, podcasts and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I, had a, I, have a, I see a nice barber now. I got a better haircut. Um, you know, it's just a better environment. You see the panels on the wall. The clock works. The clock in the previous one didn't work. I couldn't, I, I, like, it came broken. I bought a used one. I had to return it. I couldn't afford the brand new one. <laughs> At least I thought I could. I was so scared to spend money. Um, and now the clock works. But the painting is the same. I kept the painting the same. Dalek Monopoly. And um, so you can see that is the same location, same angle, same everything. It's like 2020 and then fast forward, boom, side by side. It's like, holy shit. So in three years, if you do things right, it, it didn't just, I didn't like win the lottery or something. All that was, was from the 1% compounding every day. And, uh, 
and it paid off, man. All, all those uh, upgrades were done from the market. I pulled money out of the market and bought those things. Yeah, it's, it's insane. It's insane to think about. So the 1% rule, man, you know, um, if you do things right, like I said in Chat with Traders, the stock market is one of the only frontiers left where if you do things right, you approach it the right way, you can have a massive amount of success in a short amount of time. It's the compound effect. And the crazy part is the compound effect is not like the Warren Buffett compound effect where it's like 30, 40, 50, 60 years. It's just daily. You do it every day consistent, 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 1%, and then boom. You know, it's, you look back, you're like, holy shit. It's just been two years, but every day. So. You got to do that, man. You know, the, the reading, the gym, the habits, all the good habits, uh, the webinars, the YouTube, the journaling, you know, the mental work, the cutting people out, um, you know, just chipping away at things that are not serving you. Even Instagram. My Instagram feed is curated. Like if you go to like the Explorer, I don't even know how to do the Explorer, but everything that gets fed to me on Instagram, man, it's crazy. I don't get any, any stupid stuff. I get like, I was just looking at Mike Tyson today. It fed me all this Mike Tyson uh, inspirational stuff. I get um, everything or like business. Uh, you know, I get a lot of Patrick Bet David, Alberto Preciado. I get like... Uh, all these guys, man, Ed Milet, Bedrosian guy, I don't know. It's like all this gets fed to me constantly. So like even that helps, you know, um, I just saw, I just, in, in podcasts, you know, I listen to the founders podcast. I'm not listening to that much music. I'm not watching entertainment, you know, um, I just did a podcast with, uh, Justin on macro jabber and I asked him, Hey, did you see the crit Mac thing? Did you see the this uh, no jumper, this and that, because like, you know, I, I got in touch with Crip Mac to, and uh, do some content so to go viral for Macro Jabber, and it worked, it worked. Um, a few, a couple of the videos, one video hit 100,000, another one hit 50,000, so like, I figured out how to crack the YouTube code, but um, it does go to show you that subscribers don't mean anything, you know? When someone says, how many subscribers do you have? That's bullshit. It's like, you don't, you know, it's like most people don't know, like are looking at stupidity. It's like, there's only a select few people that are really going to get successful at trading. And it's those few people that understand that like they have to watch the serious stuff. That's why people like the Friendly Bear, the Friendly Bear has on YouTube 2,500 subscribers. And I'm, I'm sure probably like half of that is a, a really good, really Get people that want to take trading seriously but unfortunately trading is hard man only a very select few actually go through with it and like how to make yourself succeed with trading man you can really increase your odds if you put if you somehow manage to get 10 to 20,000 hours in of studying the right material means no furu no you don't waste your time with furu and at the same time, you study the material, the majority of that time that you're studying the material, your ego has to be in check. You can't be like, ah, I know this already. I covered this already. Oh, um, you know, that, like what, what that, because when, the, when you're studying under someone or you're looking into someone and they're profitable and you're not, you got to listen. Like, you got to listen to what they're saying and you, you can't disagree. Oh, I disagree. Well, if you disagree, you better be profitable. If you're not profitable, you got your ego has to take a back seat. It is what it is, man. Um, I like the way Chris Katie put it. Uh, shout out to Chris Katie on the um, on a podcast I heard him on. It wasn't on my podcast. He's been on my podcast a couple times. Chris Katie has been on Chat with Traders. He's in the San Luchi team, and. Um, he said, when you find a mentor, you do your due diligence and you find a, a legit mentor, you just listen to what everything they have to say. And that's it. You follow. You follow them. Whatever they say, you do it. No questions asked. I mean, no, you're going to ask questions, but it's like, 
you, you can't have rebuttals and stuff, you know, you just, you do it, that's it, done, you know, and your ego has to be in check for that, it can't be an internal battle of like, you're itching to have a rebuttal, that's gonna, that doesn't serve you for trading, the ego has to take a back seat, you know, um, so if you look at 10 to 20,000 hours of stuff and you study it, and at the same time you're getting screen time in conjunction with that, and you, it's at least two or three years, because 10 to 20,000 is gonna take a lot, but you're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to work like 18 hour days, you know? I was looking at, oh, on Instagram reel of Alberto Preciado, really a good entrepreneur I look up to here in LA. He said, you know, society, yeah, people work in eight hours and that's why they're not successful. People that are successful, they work 18 hours. The billionaires, the mega millionaires, whatever, they work 18 hours. Founders, 18 hours. So it's, it's got to be like that, man. It's got to be like that. It sounds ridiculous when I say it. 18 to 20 hours a day, when I, that's what I was doing. That's what I was doing, man. I'm not lying with that. In fact, it was probably more. So a lot of days was 21 and 22 hours. You know, I just laid on the, on the ground and my brain is racing. I can't even sleep. I have to force myself to, to sleep. And then the pre-market opens at 1 in the morning. And I'm like, ah, I guess we're doing it. I guess I only got... 45 minutes in it is what it is but um and I'll just I always had a coffee maker next to me and I would make a lot of coffee and I'll make it happen but um yeah 10 to 20,000 hours ego in check screen time and um you know what else yeah that, that's the main thing man that's the main thing you know it's just it's, it is what there's no shortcut around it and it's gonna take two to three years you know, if you got that, you got a major, uh, a major odds in your favor. That 97% failure rate, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be very, a lot less than that. You know, you have a higher chance to succeed and you can't be like jumping around. You know, that's another thing. So when I see people jumping around, they learn stocks, then options, then small caps, then big caps, then crypto, then Forex, or actually usually it's crypto and Forex first. <laughs> But no, you stick to one thing and that's it, man. You stick to one thing. So like one of the major things that I did, and I guess it's just the person I am, man. I'm, not, I'm a no bullshit person. I don't fuck around. I, like when I came into trading, I was like, all right, man, I'm leaving architecture. Just give me the education, man. Just give me this. Give me this shit. That's all. That was it. So I was like, I didn't, I didn't come in with the fuckery. But um. I knew once I, I saw this, this guy, Tim Sykes, acting crazy on, on the internet, but I was like, all right, let's see what he got to say. Once I, figured, I found out he's legit, I was like, oh, it's the pump and dumps. Oh, he short sells the pump and dump. We know the end game. And then I saw Gratani, and then I saw Eric Wood, and then I saw a couple other guys that, that were in his group, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Eric Wood was in, in Sykes' group, <laughs> you know, so for a long time. But, um... They had a, they had an issue or something. Then they kind of disbanded. But um, but yeah. So I saw these guys. And I was like, I'll just learn short selling. I'm just gonna stick to short selling. That is it. That is it, man. You know, just one thing. You focus on one thing. So I decided. All right, this is real. You do your due diligence. You know, and you know, I reached out to these guys. I I I remember I was driving Uber at the time. And I would download the Sykes videos on Uber and I would listen to them over and over. And I was trying to find a reason not to sign up. I was like, let me see if there's, there's got to be some bullshit in here. And the more I, I found out, I was like, all right, so then I got to research more of this, research more of that. Because I'm not going to spend the money if, this, if it's, if it's going to be fake. I'm not here to fuck around. I didn't have money, you know, so to, to waste like that. So once I found this real, I was like, all right, short selling. And even though Sykes later on, but I went hard with short selling, but even though Sykes later on, he decided to switch to do something else for like business reasons, because like, you know, to, he's going for the masses. I, I, I was already down the rabbit hole of short selling. And I'm like, you know what? I am not changing. I don't care if uh, the market is oversaturated with short sellers. I don't care because I'm going to, I'm already, I got a head start. I have two years of head start of those guys, you know? So, and I, it's just about having more knowledge than the other short sellers. So like, if I can do that, if I can be more equipped than them with the knowledge account, 
then I can do this. So I was like, I'm just going to master this thing. I'm going to stick to one thing and one thing only. I'm not going to do options. I'm not going to do crypto. You know how many times people try to get me to do options in crypto in, in Puerto Rico at Trade Space? God knows. Or I'm not going to do big caps. I'm not going to do any of that shit. And you know, it's like people come to you and they tell you, and it sounds really cool, you know? It's like these sophisticated conversations. But like, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how smart you sound. It's a P&L, man. Like, I'm getting paid very well. So like, why should I deviate at this point? I'm not going to deviate. Until I hit another level, then maybe I got to I gotta expand. But um, you stick to one thing, man. One thing. You, you, that's another thing. So I saw a lot of traders, they do small caps. And then they, they, uh, they want to... You know, I guess it's too volatile for them. And then they go to big caps, you know, and then there it takes them a long time to get profitable with big caps or making a couple hundred bucks here and there. Three, four years later, five years later, making a couple hundred bucks a day doing big caps. I guess, you know, because it's less risk. But like, I don't think that's the way, man. I don't think that's the way. You, what I would have done was if you start in small caps, you do your due diligence beforehand. And when you sign up to do it, you commit, and that's it, man. You man up. That's it. I just listened to Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, podcast on founders. That's what he, did. he had a he had a personality like that. Like you just gotta man up. <laughs> you man up. You get it done. You know, um, it's not easy, but like you stick to one thing and you improve one percent a day. Going back to that one percent, you're gonna be all right. And anyway, with that, um, I'm gonna leave it there. But yeah, so. September 16th, Friendly Bear Conference. September 15th, we're gonna, the day before, Friday, we're going to be uh, hanging out the 54th floor, talking, trading, and everything. Um, you know, people are going to be, and I'm, I'm mentioning it now because tickets are going to go live very soon, in a few days. So, like, you know, it's going to get sold out. And it's going to be a well, it's a well-planned event. We're going to utilize the space on Sunday over here or inside, depending on the weather at the athletic club. But Saturday is the big conference at the hotel uh, conference room. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be a stage and like, I'm gonna be, it's, like I've never done something like this before, but it's gonna be epic. And Sam Degash is flying from Dubai. This is the man. So Sam helped me have a huge breakthrough last year, mentally. And like now he's gonna be He's going to be here for us. You know what I mean? And he's a very good friend of mine. This guy is top notch. But um, what else? I'm going to go in the, you know, tomorrow's a holiday. I don't really have much to do, man. You know, so I'm going to go do some podcasts in, uh, in the studio, do a trade review. I don't know. I, you know, it's just what I like to do. So it's, um, it's cool. But anyways, I'll see you guys later.